Actually, I've been attempting this engineering services from last four years. Since 2020, I've been giving this examination, but the result has been in my way this year. I thought this will be my last attempt. If it goes well, okay, otherwise I need to switch my career. This year in UPSC 2023, I have secured All India Rank 6. So, hello Sai Kumar, how are you doing? Hi, Ajay, I am good. I am doing good. So, can you give a brief overview about your educational background and um, about your recent ESC results? This year in UPSC 2023, I have secured All India Rank 6 in ENT. Actually, I have been attempting this engineering services from last four years. So, I have completed my graduation from NIT Bhopal in Electronics and Communication. After that, I have been placed in Wipro. Then later on, I have joined Indian Railways and I worked there for two years. Currently, I am working in Ministry of Electronics and Information and Technology. Since 2020, I have been giving this examination, but the result has been in my way this year. From 2020, this is my fourth interview. Oh. So you have been writing ESC from uh, 2020? Yeah. So 2020, 21, 22, 23, four years you have given four interviews. Yeah, four years I have given the four interviews. Oh my God. So every That's... time, actually, I was always stuck with the mains. So in this entire game of, I feel this is a complete a game where you should focus more on the mains. Each part is important, but especially mains plays a major role in this examination. Once you are clear with that concepts, rather than that practice is more essential in this. So... When one knows about his mistake, then it is very easy to clear. What changes you would like to take in this particular path? Would you like to travel the same journey or would you want to make any changes? Journey will be very simple. I wanted to just rectify the mistake, whatever this time I have corrected. Just give the complete one or any one, choose one test series and attempt it completely. Don't leave a single test so that you will get a thorough practice of that. The final exam, you can attempt whatever the things you might be knowing in that examination. Once if you are done with that, the result will be in your way. That I can right. say for sure. I missed in the last three attempts that thing because in, in, I have not even attempted a single mains exam in the first two years. Directly I have been into the examination then that will be the same story. Marks will be very average. It will be only enough to clear that stage but it will not be sufficient to be in the final list. Even though practice is more important, even after practicing, we have to evaluate ourselves. So one test series is essential, I feel, to get enrolled and do that test series sincerely. Right. So test series is one thing that you would have practiced earlier itself, yeah. if you would have known, right? Correct. Okay. So have you written test series for prelims and um, have you missed out only mains or you have not attempted any test series for prelims mains? This year prelims I didn't attempt a single test. During my first time preparation, I was a classroom coaching student. So I have attempted all the prelims test series in there itself in the coaching. So I never felt after that there is a need for that. So 10 to 15 days preparation was enough for that to clear this prelims. So my mistake was every time in the main. So this was focusing on that this time. So that helped me. First summer, then they have to focus on everything like prelims. Even for prelims, I suggest a test series so that they can improve their speed and accuracy levels. So have you taken any coaching for ESC preparation? Yeah, I have taken the coaching from Ace Academy Dilsuk Nagar branch in 2019, May to October, six months. Dilsuk Nagar... 2019, I was also uh, preparing during that time frame only. I was also in Dilshik Nagar, near the US Academy. One of your friend is my common friend. Like Sundar was there even that time. We used to give test series. In, yeah, I practiced at the time both. I was giving the test series of both ACE as well as this. Made easy. Made easy at Kotapet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So were you in this uh, Sai Baba Temple campus or Heritage? Sai Baba Temple campus. Oh, I was also attending... Um, few classes there so we, we might have okay. crossed paths but we never uh, knew each other yeah i was the last bench guy one who used to come <laughs> at late in the class and depart early in the yeah. class cool so coming to the results like how did this uh, feel how did your parents and how was your reaction after seeing your name in the results this was very surprising actually sixth rank i was not expecting that thing but it was there somewhere in the mind maybe i will be in the list this time because everything was going well so mm -hmm. but sixth rank came as a surprise for me because we can never expect that rank in upsc right. list so i was actually very happy this is the, my fourth attempt so it feels a little more special now so it must be a very relieving experience, right? So the first feeling you might have got is um, like, I don't have to write this exam again. So that uh, relief, yeah, uh, relieving feeling must be there. Yeah, I felt that, see, even if your rank was bad, again, I need to touch the book. But after seeing that, oh no, I didn't need not touch this book. I will get my preference right. service uh, as well. 
right 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 can you take us to your educational background where did you do your graduation and where did you study in your childhood i belong to nagarkarnool district from telangana state i have completed my schooling in sharda high school nagarkarnool itself uh, later on i have come to hyderabad for plus 1 and plus 2 from narayana junior college then through the mains i have entered into nit bopal in 2014 to 18 i have completed my graduation in electronics and communication from there on i i had a small stint in a software company then later on i resigned there and started preparation for this then have you written in the gate exam yeah appeared the gate from same the same story from 2020 i started appearing for gate 2 but my good result was in 21 i secured all india rank 101 in that 101 yeah the rest all years were around 500 400 ranks but my best rank was at 101 in 21 so have you got any psus with that rank yeah 6 to 7 psus i got selected this airport authority ntpc pgcl uh, assistant there was two posts in that 2021 one is assistant engineer and one was executive engineer this assistant mm-hmm. engineer i have cleared recently through 21 gates for this intelligence bureau has called for aci vote that in that it has been there so there were few but i didn't opt for anything i just wanted to get into the central government itself so i have never does this psu so i have never taken did you ever think of doing masters with that rank because 101 is such a good rank have you ever thought about it yeah i had i was going through it because just i thought uh, many of my friends also suggested it will be difficult to carry the preparation parallelly so it should be you should sail only on one ship at a time so i thought let me try and give the my attempt i thought this will be my last attempt so if it goes well okay otherwise I, i need to switch my career into some other thing research oriented or something so i thought this i will give a full fledged preparation then we'll see what happens because that score card is valid for 3 years so i expected this will be then if not happens then i had a plan b to get into masters or something other nice so if you had not got this rank um you don't have any plans of giving it again right no i would have not given again the engineering services maybe <laughs> some other examinations right right so, so do you have plans of appearing in civil services uh, right now i didn't think of anything but we'll see later <laughs> because engineering services that was my thing because from the last three attempts uh, there was a thing because i didn't prepare well so i am i was not good enough to get that rank i should not be getting that but this time i have put all my efforts if i am not getting then i will not be a candidate to sit in this so i thought right. this should be the my last attempt even after the complete preparation i thought this is my best attempt so this should be the last thing if it was some if there was some glitch in my preparation then i would have say that i would be giving another attempt but i said this was my 100% efforts were there in this at every stage your thought process is very pretty good like you knew exactly where you went wrong so yeah. this attempt you have given everything if that doesn't work out you are not deserved for that position or maybe that position does not deserve you so you yeah, have the plan either, either case this time i thought i should practice well my speed has to increase and the other thing i was never practicing anything so i took all the test series like this time also i have enrolled for as mains test series and i took all the last 3 years mains i didn't do much practice only this thing i just already last few years i have completed my previous year questions but i didn't have this time management system and never practiced anywhere this time i have created my own 3 hours time i just sat every saturday sunday i give and daily every time one paper i have given every weekend so this time this helped me so i suggest everyone to go through this test series in each part yes main test series is pretty good like most of the questions uh, whatever they have in those test series it is almost equivalent um, to the like standard of questions in the main exam also yeah. so and last two years may yeah. ace test series is very good especially in mains whereas in yeah. medici i felt like the questions were repeating from 2020 the same question they have jumbled to 22 or 23 i found the same and question questions were the same. more difficult also questions were more difficult also which would take a uh, lot of time even if you uh, practice those questions you won't be able to repeat the same uh, answers in the actual exam yeah at least so one question should be thought provoking in each examination mm-hmm. so that we can mm-hmm. attend the new question every time we face that thing they call mm. even material science they are expecting uh, like new pattern of questions are coming but if you are good with mm. previous year questions then that will be more than enough to go get good marks around 170 to 180 is achievable with the previous year question and this test series right so those who are watching this video take this lesson from him uh, if you knew exactly where you are going wrong then work on those mistakes if you are giving your best and still if you are taking 5 to 6 years 
then there is no point of sticking to a particular exam uh, try to look after other career opportunities also there are a lot of career opportunities uh, you might be better at something else um, who knows so try to take this lesson very seriously if you knew exactly where you are going wrong then it's completely fine you can work on those lessons and uh, improve your scores so sai uh, prelims mains interview can you briefly go through your preparation process in prelims especially uh, i used to focus more on technical i felt like in general studies the average score used to be 80 marks so in that if you practice well mathematics and aptitude 40 marks will be with you, yourself and then the rest will be environment if you go through environment and in the project management many of the concepts are like basic uh, calculation of mathematics and aptitude so if you go through that and in touch like don't leave any subject that is one thing i say even in the aptitude and general studies paper touch every subject where the important questions are coming from like at least from the previous trends look at the previous trends technical focus as much as possible it will help even in mains and in prelims so if you have good speed you can score at around up to up to 200 you can score in uh, mm. prelims and practice is more important even in prelims also opt for a test series go through that and revision once you are completing your preparation revise and revise that is the mantra for the success once if it is mains you have rather than reading practice more with the pen and paper so you should be able to write because many things will be running in our mind we will find that every question is very easy and all but we need to know like what question is asked for what, how many marks and we have to write the crisp answer for that if it is 20 marks if a transient so let us say in networks if a transient question has come it is given for five marks need not of doing all those derivation and all directly put the formula and enter that five marks that is more than enough whereas if it comes for 20 you should be able to write all the derivation and derive and use the laplace transform to convert into everything so you must be knowing how to write that check for the number of marks then according to that answer the question my sincere suggestion is one thing if you know 300 marks you should be able to attempt 300 marks you should never leave a question that you are knowing for an interview, interview interview should be very clear with your uh, daf daf plays a crucial role whatever you fill so while filling be clear in that so if you are writing whether it is your hobbies or you know if you are going through extra curricular activity there may be a chance of question on that other than that there if there is a chance to introduce yourself then project in a good way like if you have done a good project try to mention that be prepared with it and questions will come if they are, if you are freshers most of the questions will be from project if you are having experience questions will from from your job and experience there may be a questions to tackle the different situations too so while i was in working railways there was a question like if railways is privatized how would you handle this like what are the impacts on that so such questions can be expected and the current issues if any burning issues are going on this is this time i was well prepared with this g20 was going on just g20 was completed my interview was immediately after that question was come so tell me the three strategic decision that has been taken in g20 so i was prepared for that at least 5 to 10 minutes discussion has been done on only g20 in my interview this time only technical three or four questions were there very less than on hobbies there was a question majority was on the current issues that went well with me prior to this every time i had experience job experience so most of my interviews were on job experience itself during corona time uh, there was a question about railways do uh, about this ac coaches so how can you control this corona virus for the passengers traveling in ac coach because the like air will be cycling within that right. so what are the what are the railway railways is taking the measure for that so such questions can be expected so they were asking for that what can we design for this so designing question was that this year experience was like uh, difference between sram and dram so what are the differences in that nand gate and uh, nor gate so what's the propagation delay and why the propagation delays are less difference in that so that was the thing going on this technicals nice so have you followed textbooks or coaching materials or have you followed both of them i followed only previous year question previous year question and test series other than that i have not done anything extra for that you don't have time Because, also i guess yeah previous year question in my first attempt i have completed most of the things this time i have sincerely practiced this test series even previous year questions i didn't do properly this time because i have already done but i used to have a group of friends so we always used to discuss like if someone is not getting that question so we would used to cover that topic so that helped me a lot exactly. even in while so you must have done answers. coaching notes also right because that is the basic thing you yeah. would revise uh, yeah that was the basic example. thing Right, right, right. So, coaching notes, uh, test series, and previous year questions. Apart from previous these three, 
materials you have not done anything exclusive but in coaching most of the questions were from standard textbook itself so exactly. only not touch exactly. again those things so previous year questions were like at least you will come to know that trend of the question what is yeah. happening and how to answer them in and test series you help. would actually feel the time bound uh, exams Correct. right so what is that one suggestion you would like to give to future aspirants if they are preparing right now so take a wise decision then start preparation because <laughs> there are plenty of opportunities that's for sure but if you are already in the field like trying from last one or two years then for sure you should be in here try to know the mistake complete it because still it's a good opportunity even though the vacancies are less you can try for this because earlier there used to be railway and number of vacancies but now still you can try even though electronics and communication has very good number of vacancies with this on the preparation point of view everyone are in the same level that you must know if a question is hard the question is hard for everyone but if the question is good you must attempt it correctly so try to maintain a good accuracy remember the same thing if a question paper is tough it is tough for everyone don't think of cut offs result just focus on that day complete that day while you are preparing for prelims focus on the prelims itself you have sufficient time for more than sufficient time to prepare for mains and while preparing for mains don't think of interview there is sufficient time for that too so try to be focusing for each day at a time then the result will be in your hands excellent suggestion so if the paper is tough it's tough for everyone so don't everyone. just stuck up with a single question and waste your time yeah. so if you're not getting any particular question try to move on to further questions and uh, don't no miss out easy questions because that's where the yeah. game lies so you should solve all the easy questions without doing mistakes and try to leave the hard questions so obviously yeah. you will be in the final list so that's it sai thank you so much for uh, joining me today it was a really candid conversation with you thank you ajay in case if you are planning for coaching my top recommendation would be as academy in fact i have also taken coaching in as when i was preparing for gate and esc so they are starting new batches on feb 19 and i would recommend you to join as early as possible because you would get ample time for a revision and if you are planning for online batches you can use the code matic10 to get 10% off on all the courses i'll add more details in description you can check it out from there 